So today, I'll be talking about recurrent neural networks, or RNNs, for language modeling. So let's first get an idea behind the intuition for recurrence. Recall that in a language model, we're trying to find an output distribution over our vocabulary. And our model generates that distribution given some context, like a string of words. Now, the idea of recurrence is that at every time step, you don't need to provide your model with this ever increasing sequence of words. Uh, instead, the context comprises the current input token or the last word seen and a fixed size hidden state, which is updated by the model every time it processes a word. So that hidden state really allows us to keep track of an arbitrarily long context in a single vector. So this is what the architecture of an RNN looks like. You know, at a given time step, your input token, here it's chicken, is embedded into a vector via a word embedding. Then that's processed alongside the previous hidden state vector uh, by some fully connected hidden neural network layer to create the new hidden state. Right? We'll use that next hidden state in our next time step. It's also projected into our vocabulary space, which is our output space, by a linear layer. Now, if you want to learn more about the, the math and underlying computation, uh, check out some of the links in the description. But our output distribution is over our vocabulary space. It represents the likelihood or the appropriateness, if you will, of each candidate for the next word. For example, here, right, if our context is I ate a chicken something, the output distribution tells us that wing is very likely to follow. Uh, you know, burrito is also likely, and coop, as in I ate a chicken coop, uh, doesn't really make sense. So it has low likelihood design to it. So to give you a sense of how this works in practice, uh, I'll end this lesson with a case study. So let's say your first two words are I ate. Uh, at time step two, our input token is then eight, and our RNN thinks that A and two are likely next words. Right, I ate a blank, or I ate two somethings. And since the likelihood of A is highest, we pick that, and that word is also our next input. Now remember, our next hidden state is also this, uh, this new hidden state that we just computed. It's passed into the next time step. So at time step three, uh, our output distribution says that chicken and tasty are the most likely words to follow. So we choose chicken because it has the highest likelihood uh, or score. And then finally, given that our context now at the fourth time step is I ate a chicken, our model says the most likely next word is wing. So our sequence in the sum total is I ate a chicken wing, right? Not bad, I hope it was tasty. Uh, but, you know, that's really a simple no math explanation of how a recurrent neural network is used for a sequence modeling task like you know, language modeling. So yeah, thanks for watching.